Jubilee. Friday night starts now, and Jubilee Party top officials Jeremiah Kioni, David Morathe, and Kagwe Geshohi have been suspended and their positions taken over by lawmakers Kanini Kega, Aidan Kanan, and Rachel Nyamai. The takeover was sanctioned by 14 members of the party's National Executive Committee just two days after 32 Jubilee MPs met President William Ruto and his deputy Regathe Gashagwa at State House, Nairobi. During the next meeting today, the party resolved to exit a Zimiola Omoja coalition and get into a working relationship with President Ruto's Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. And as Francis Kashuri reports, Kioni has dismissed the changes communicated today, terming NEC members and MPs who attended the meeting traitors and sellouts. As Azimio parliamentarians met in Machakos County to consolidate the opposition team, Jubilee Party National Executive Committee members and lawmakers staged a parallel event in Nakuru County. The Nakuru meeting convened two days after 30 Jubilee members of parliament met President William Ruto at State House, Nairobi, where they resolved to work with the Kenya Kwanzaa administration and abandon their Azimio team. 14 out of 21 Jubilee NEC members resolving to kick out Secretary General Jeremiah Kioni and hand his position to East African Legislative Assembly member Kanini Kega in an acting capacity. Sababu moja wapu ambaut imefanya Jeremiah Kioni to akwe suspended ni kuenda kuongea maneno ambayo siyo msimamo wa chama. Sisi kama Jubilee hatu ungi mkono Mambo ya masufuria, mambo ya maandamano, mambo ya mabaraza. The axis of falling on Vice Chairman David Murade with the eldest member of Parliament Adan Kainan and those to take over in the interim. Kitui South MP Rachel Nyamai was assigned the National Treasurer's position to replace Kagwe Gishohi. Kioni fighting back, terming the Nakuru meeting illegal and its resolutions unconstitutional. One of the officials who can convene the organ is the party leader. The other person who is mandated by the constitution to convene such an organ is the secretary general. Any other meeting convened by others outside the two party officials that I've mentioned is of no legal consequence. In a bid to boost the Kenya Kwanzaa numbers in the bicameral parliament, the Wednesday State House meeting crafted the Jubilee Party's walkout from the Azimio coalition. The Nakuru Neck meeting sanctioning the move. Jubilee has 28 members in the National Assembly and five in the Senate. That pending the, con the convening of the Special National Delegates Convention, one, that the National Executive uh, Committee commences the process of exiting the Azimio coalition. Two, the National Executive Committee engages with the ruling coalition on the possibility of creating a working cooperation arrangement with it. The Jubilee Party has commenced disciplinary action against four members of parliament who are part of the Wednesday State House delegation, Kanini Kega, Sabina Chege, Fatma Dulo, and Adan Kainan. The members of parliament are accused of disloyalty, advancing positions that are contrary to the party, and demonstrating lack of respect to party decisions and organs. Na na kwambia, kama umechoka na Jubilee, wewe uhame wende, we, were, we will still do the disciplinary action when it is done, but we are not going to conduct it in the public. We will do it quietly, slowly, meticulously until we get laid of people who have no value in our party and especially those who have already decided that their home is Wuda. Let Kioni know Jubilee Party is not his own kiosk. He has never called us for any PG. He has never given us a party direction. So when he wakes up from his bed, he cannot expect that we will follow him. Even when we went to represent us at, at the retreat, he never invited us for that retreat, never told us about the agenda. And so Kioni is no Jubilee Party. Jubilee had over 140 members. Today we have around 30 members because of that mistake of chasing away our members. Oh. So I want to tell Jeremiah Kioni that we cannot afford to lose even a single member. With the rumble in Jubilee House, focus shifts to the party's lawmakers when the bicameral parliament resumes its sittings next week and President Ruto's hand in weakening the opposition by strategically eating into its numbers. Francis Gashuri.